Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new video tutorial about Editor X. In today's video, we are going to check out a few of the basic layouting functions that we have in Editor X, which are sections, components, and then some more advanced features that are also related to responsive design, which are stack, grid, and layout for itself. Let's start right into our Plank design, our Plank uh, website right here. And what I want to show you is that you can simply structure your websites using sections. We already can read it in this top part right here. We have a header, then we have the middle part, which is a section, and we have the footer, which is also a section. And you can add multiple other sections using this little plus icon here or right there, or using the insert kind of quick add menu using the section right here or a vertical section. Now sections are the basic frames in which you will add content to and they are needed to structure your websites for yourself while developing a website or also for search engine optimization. So uh, it's always necessary and great to work with sections as I said and they are plank containers that will store all of your content. So if you add a new section you can just click right here you can add a plank one you can use a section that has a certain grid or a layouter. We will look at these functions in a second, but I want to show you the container as well. So let's add a plank section to it. And you see it's just uh, another such a plank part displayed right here. We can now click here to add a new element or just use the quick add menu. And from there we can drag in new kind of elements, new components into our sections. So for example, we have a container right here. We get some alignment uh, features right there too. And then we can position our elements easily. And next up is dragging a container down here. And I'm dragging containers into our sections because containers will give us a better structure within the sections. Sections are the bigger outer part of it and the containers are needed to store different kind of uh, text layers, images and so on and to have a nice structure inside our sections. So if you now go and add for example a title you can just drag your title into your container and we can position it in a certain way as well as for example using a paragraph drag it in here and align it like that. This is how we can actually structure our content inside such a container. And if I now select the container and move it, you see that the content within the container is also moving. And this is awesome if you want to, for example, have a very uh, creative layout, if you want to position it in, for example, this part and have a background image or whatever. It's really awesome that you can customize containers and use uh, them to store content within it. So now that you know about the basic layouting components, we can now dive into things like stack, grid and layout. These are advanced functions and I will explain them to you right now. So we have a nice little example layout right here, which looks pretty awesome uh, if you ask me. And it's having some really cool features included that I want to show you right now. And the first thing is going to be grids. Now, if I select this uh, section right here, we can see that this is the section that we selected. We see the, these dotted lines in here. And these dotted lines tell us that there is a grid enabled for this section. And we have containers in here. Let me click this container. And we can see furthermore that there is a grid inside the container as well. Let's click on adjust grid. So we get a little impression of the grids that we have in here. So apparently it's a two by eight grid. Let's edit it. We can click on edit. And next up we see all of the different spacings of this grid. We can add a further column and also change the grid itself in here. So for example, we can click on this value and set it to, for example, 90 and boom, we got a change right there. If you are happy with your change, you can click on done. And to go back to, for example, this section right here in which we also already have some kind of grid, we can of course also hit adjust grid, edit it and see all of the different spacings in here. And of course, if we want to edit it, we can simply 
add a different value, click on done and we are ready to go. Now, if you want to add such a grid into your own sections, you can easily just click on your section and hit apply grid. Next up is uh, the predefined set of grids, but you can also hit custom and create your own ones with a set of columns and rows. Let's just uh, go with such a three by one grid and we can see these dotted lines in here. Now we can also adjust it, edit it and change those uh, grid parts and columns in a certain way. So now if we are happy with the result, we can click on done. And now if we select our container, we can now easily attach it, for example, to this line, to this grid or to that part, to this side. So it's a very easy function to structure your sections, your containers or whatever in a very easy way to get a better structure overall. The next feature I would like to show you is stack. If you have a certain set of content and if we go back to my Apple iPhone 12 website that I created uh, in the past, you will see that I was using a grid exactly in this area. We can already see it with these blue bars right here. And if I now go in here and if I uh, click on it and select it, you see that we have the availability to unstack the content. And stack, what stack basically does is if you select multiple parts of a website, multiple content parts, for example, like the title and the paragraph, you could also choose an image or whatever. If you choose both of these, um, let's say layers, you can stack them. And if you hit stack, you will get a certain relation between these layers. And if we go over into our inspector right here, we can now of course also set certain margins like right there, 10 pixels to the top so that our paragraph has a certain margin in relation to the uh, title. If we head back into my iPhone 12 website example, we can see that there are quite a few of these margins visible right here. And that's because I tried to get a nice grid and a nice information architecture and hierarchy between these different layers. But what's also cool about Stack is that you can just simply select one of your layers like the iPhone 12 title right here and reposition it within your stack. You see that those layers are also flipping up and down while I'm dragging the layer between them back and forth. So you can easily now stack your uh, layers, your kind of information set, and then reposition elements and content parts within it very easily. And the last feature I want to show you for this tutorial is the layouter function. If you want to create a layouter, simply go to a new section, for example, and hit layouter. Here you can choose a layout. It can be two columns or this uh, more fluid and dynamic layout. And Layouter is basically a feature that will help you to structure your content, which will then look good on mobile views and tablet views as well. So if you select such a Layouter, you can see that we have four of these boxes in my example right now. And all of these boxes, these items are containers. Now you can change the size of such an item. You can also reduce the size uh, and try out new things with the layouting feature. Of course, you can also add more of these items, just hit duplicate and next up you will get another item in here. And of course, you can again reposition all of those uh, items how you want and get a better structure for your mobile website projects. Because if you position any of the content like a title, a paragraph, an image or whatever into one of your containers, one of your items, they will automatically rearrange on your mobile views and look great in there too. So for example, if we select one of our items and we drag a photo, an image inside our, uh, inside our item, we can now also see that we have got it right here. And if you now click on this stretch function, you can see that it's automatically expanding to the whole container, to the whole item. And if we go back using our little program to our item, we can also, okay, reduce the size or even maybe expand the width of it. And also in that case, expand our image. And what you can see if we go into the mobile view is that all of these different containers, these items that are now left and right, have a different kind of spacing right here, a different kind of width. Um, if I go to the mobile view, you see that we have a nice set of different boxes that all have the same width and same height right now. 
That's why I said if you use the layout of feature, you will easily create websites and structures that will look good on mobile as well. So it's easy to create awesome websites, structures and layouts using grid, stack and layouter inside sections and containers. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, hit the thumb up button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section of this video and I will give you an answer to them. Thank you so much for tuning in and we will see us in the next video. Bye.